Max, a 10-year-old Labrador, seemed fine until his pet guardian noticed subtle changes, and these signs almost cost him his kidneys. At the clinic, blood work revealed early kidney stress. Max had been on long-term non-steroidal anti-inflammatories for arthritis. While these medications reduce pain and inflammation, they also block something called COX enzymes, which produce prostaglandins that protect kidney blood flow. Older dogs like Max are actually especially vulnerable. Older dogs like Max are actually especially vulnerable. So if your dog is on NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories for pain, there are top three early signs to watch out for. The first one is increased thirst and urination, also known as polydipsia and polyuria. The second warning sign to watch out for is vomiting or loss of appetite. And the third warning sign to watch out for is lethargy or weakness. These signs are indicative of something called AKI, acute kidney injury. Now, an important nuance here is that these signs alone do not confirm AKI. We need to have blood work such as creatinine, bun and electrolytes to confirm diagnosis. Severe AKI may include vomiting, diarrhea, and dehydration or collapse. So why does this happen? NSAIDs inhibit COX-1 and QX2. These are enzymes. Therefore, reducing renal perfusion. Less blood flow to the kidneys can impair filtration, potentially leading to acute kidney injury, even in standard doses in sensitive or older pets. As Max was found to be suffering from acute kidney injury, his vet adjusted his non-steroidal doses, providing kidney supportive care, and he also schedules regular blood work. Early recognition made all the difference, and Max recovered fully. So the moral of the story is to watch out for subtle changes such as thirst, vomiting, or lethargy. So even when pets are on non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, these early signs indicate kidney stress and allow intervention before serious injury occurs. And here is a bonus clinical fact. Even selective QX2 NSAIDs, considered safer, can reduce kidney perfusion by 30 to 50% in older or vulnerable dogs, a risk most pet guardians do not realize. Always consult your vet.